Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a easy peasy cheesecake recipe. This is a sugar free recipe and I really enjoyed it. So did my husband and I hope you guys do too. Let's get started. You will need three tablespoons of sugar substitute, three cups of plain non-fat Greek yogurt, one package of Jell-O cheesecake, flavored, some lemon juice, some eggs, a spatula to clean, uh, mix everything with, and a bowl. You want to go ahead and start off with doing th cracking three eggs into a bowl. We're going to add three tablespoons of sugar substitute. I am using the stevia kind. I like trivia as well though. Then you're going to add your lemon juice. I'm using about three tablespoons of lemon juice. She calls for regular lemon zest, but I didn't have that, so I'm just using the lemon juice I had on hand, and it turned out fine. Now go ahead and mix the eggs, sugar, and lemon juice all together until it's well blended. Now you're going to add the secret ingredients. It's a sugar-free cheesecake jello, and it tastes amazing. I've never thought about using this for cheesecake, but it came out delicious. You also want to go ahead and add three cups of plain non-fat Greek yogurt. I'm using the Faye Total 2% milk. It's just what I had on hand and that's all. Now you want to go ahead and mix everything. You can use a hand blender. You can just do it by hand. I'm choosing to use my kitchen aid and I put the whisk um, thing on there handle because I don't want it to be mixed too well. I just want it to be like more fluffy. So I went ahead and put this on low, bumped it up to around two and three and then finished it off with me stirring it to make sure everything was nice and blended.
I'm gonna go ahead and prep my pan. I just used this pan I got from Big Lots. I sprayed some Pam on it, and I just set the cheesecake in the pan. Then you wanna go ahead and wrap the cheesecake with some saran wrap and put it in the refrigerator for about three to five hours. Or if you can do overnight, I think that would be better. I only did mine for about five hours. And then you're gonna go ahead and put it in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes. This is how it turned out after 30 minutes in the oven. It's a little jiggly still, which that's what she said in the recipe. And it tastes amazing. I chopped some strawberries up and put some fat-free whipped cream on top, and it was delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time.